ladies and gentlemen, I'm here <laughs> with the man, the myth, the legend, Brad Sunberg. Look at this Mr. cool solar flare I have going on the camera. Mr. Bradshaw, what's going on? We're in LA. Aren't you tired? You just landed. I just landed. Brad is unbelievable. I, these are prescription, forgive me for trying and to look I'm, cool. And I'm still just a little bit on Madrid time, but I don't even think about it anymore. You just got back from Madrid with Brian Vibbert. Brian is now here also. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get to meet Brian Vibbert tonight. We're going to the Michael Jackson estate. Uh, it's called Havenhurst. Uh, it's, we'll have Maddie put a picture of it right here. This is the estate where Joseph Jackson bought in 1971. You've, when done, the, you've done your homework. When the Jackson 5 hit it, really. But well, I've been looking at pictures of this place since I was a kid. So, 1971, Joe Jackson bought this place with all the money from their four straight number one hits from Motown and Barry Gordy. So the whole family lived here. Janet and Latoya and Rebe and all of the boys and Catherine and Joe. There was a pool and it's like two and a half acres, but it's in Encino, California, which is like... You know, west of what? Northwest of Hollywood. It's northwest of everything. Yeah, it's no, not in the middle of everything. It's a, it's, a, it's a kind of a rich community. Yeah, but Michael and the family were here, surrounded by fences and sort of landlocked with, you know. It was kind of a baby Neverland. Yeah, it was a baby Neverland, and Michael had llamas and deer and all mm -hmm. kinds of things there first, and then um, when Michael in 1988, you know, 87, 88, he was like, I need. I need more space and I need to be able to walk outside and be able to walk down the street. 1987. 87, yep. yeah. And so Michael uh, built Neverland, which is a good two, two and a half hours north, right? Yep. Santa yep. Barbara. But this, the family lived here forever. There's so many great pictures of Janet and Latoya. Can you put this one here, Maddie? Maddie's so good. So Maddie, you know, obviously is editing this and is one of Brad's four amazing, wonderful daughters. Yep. Um, but we're going tonight, we just saw a picture with uh, Brad's friends here, with Prince Jackson, Michael's oldest son, dressed as Mario. It's a Mario last night. So there was like a full thriller night last night. And then I, tonight. I don't, know, I don't know if they're ready for our costumes. So. <laughs> I hope my costume, I brought a big suitcase because <laughs> my costume is um, very firm and large and I can only fold it once. So thank you to Lindsay for packing that for me. So, um, but hopefully Prince Jackson will be there tonight. I think Vincent Patterson might be there, who choreographed the Smooth Criminal short film and was one of the... Big Al's gonna be there. Zombie, Big Al's gonna be there. Uh, he was one of the zombies in Thriller. Um, so maybe Greg Fillingame, who, who knows? We'll see, uh, but I'm definitely the fan here and there are all these people that have worked with Michael and knew Michael. So I can't wait. Um, I think we need, we gotta get lunch. We gotta get lunch. Are we gonna get In-N-Out Burger in the next 48 hours? <laughs> I was gonna um, try and talk you out of that. No, but, we go anywhere. No, uh, I've been to In-N-Out Burger. I just right, went we'll in March. I don't need to go now. I'm like, going to go to one of his haunts. I'm his like, like, introduce you to something different. What's your like, some kind of LA might, fried might, chicken I hole might, in the wall? I might take you to, uh, to Tommy's. Take me to like a McDonald's where Michael had a double filet of fish. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. Um, Tommy's, that sounds fun. Anywhere, I'm following Brad. He's the LA guy. All right. We're back in California where gas is like, what, $6? Six, six, six bucks a gallon. Whatever. Here we go. See the Beverly Hills sign? There we go. Classic. We're going Hollywood tonight. We're going Hollywood. All right, here's the Beverly Center, and we're coming up in the neighborhood of Westlake, where Thriller and Bad were recorded. There's Westlake. No way! The Brown Owning. Northern Cafe? No, oh, Just right cows. there! Holy cow! Oh, man, she's nondescript. That is where Thriller and Bad were recorded. And Captain EO? And Captain EO. Wow, right there, Brad! That is so cool! I would have driven right past it and never known. Okay, I'm here with Brad Sunberg. This is, it looks like some recycling trash cans <laughs> and a back door. But you're telling me, Michael Jackson's parking space, are we standing in where he would yeah. park? Yeah, he parked right here. This okay. was one of these two reserved parking spaces. And this is the back door, and they had a, what, a camera or like a buzz, yeah. they buzz you in. Oh, they're watching us right now. Of course, yeah, the ca camera right here. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, so this so, is the back door of Westlake, 8447 Beverly Boulevard. Wow. This is where uh, Bruce Mc recorded and makes the Thriller album. And, wow. And uh, Matt Forger did Captain E over here. Bad, we did it the next one. Wow. So, so this like, is stop number one. So like, Eddie Van Halen came in here and played Beat It. Yeah, right in there. Paul McCartney oh. came in here and sang The Grill Is Mine. Right over there. <gasps> wow, I mean, that is cool. Isn't that cool? And you'd never know that this building was yeah. it. Um, wait, let me, let me think, what else? Stevie Wonder came in here and sang Just Good Friends. No, we did that at the other building. Okay. <laughs> but a cool. lot of people have been here. 
I mean, unbelievable. That is so cool. What about... Reby did Centipede here. Centipede! <laughs> if you don't know Centipede... Um, wait, what about like Vincent Price? Did he come to Rock? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah he would have done that studio. Vincent Rock. Price. Yep. That's yeah. a great story. Yeah, historic place. Unbelievable. Okay, let's go look at the front. Let's go. Okay, wait, this is the old Taco Bell. That was still a Taco Bell? So yeah, that, that was a Taco Bell forever. Um, Did Michael like Taco fact, Bell? Yeah, if you look at the, there's a picture of Rod and Quincy and everybody at the end of the mixing thriller. Okay. And they took a picture right up front with Taco Bell in the background. No way. And then right next to Taco Bell, where Target is, okay. that used to be a restaurant called Jan's. Okay. And Jan's was where we'd get takeout from there all the time, and Rod Temperton would always get the most disgusting tuna melt uh. at Jan's, like three days a week. He loved that tuna melt. Wow. Rod Temperton from Heat Wave, who wrote Rock With You and Thriller. And the burn is disco out. Cool, man. I'm just gonna call that Michael Jackson Taco Bell. That's what Michael I'm gonna Jackson call it. Taco Bell. It's Q's Juke Joint right there. Okay, so now Brad, we're in the front of Westlake, right? Right. So this is the front door. Nobody went in the front door. Yeah. There's Old West right there, and uh, everybody park in the back. But if you want to come out and get lunch or something, they come out here. But yeah, this is the front of Westlake Studios. Westlake, Amazing. Westlake Studios A and B. Okay, cool. So there are two full studios in there. Yes. Is this the building where Michael had a, a room upstairs? No, that's next. That's, that's next Southern. stop. Okay, yep. awesome. Next stop, we'll be there. All Very right. cool. I dig it. Westlake. Okay, okay uh, Brad was like, the MJ mural's over here. So there's a mural. It's beautiful, and it's been done a few different times. I don't know if it's off the wall themed or it had the danger size ones. Um, we'll see what it's themed now, but it's up here on uh, Beverly. Is it, is so it on Fairfax? Uh, past Fairfax. Two past Fairfax. Okay. okay. Two blocks. So uh, we're hitting all the uh, MJ spots in LA. <laughs> it's cool. Okay, wow. Now behind this is CBS Television City. This is where I waited and got on The Price is Right with Bob Barker. <laughs> Maddie, I think we need to put a little Bob Barker footage right here. 11.50. 11.50 and let's hear from Julie. One dollar. One dollar, Jared, your bid. Uh, one hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. Actual retail price, eight hundred eighty-nine dollars. Jared wins. Now, there are people... Bless you. <laughs> there are people who thought that that $100 was a weird bid. I didn't want to bid $2. That's I, not nice. No, no that. You're nice. too much of a gentleman. That's what I started to point out. He's too much of a gentleman to do that. Uh, so the Farmer's Daughter Hotel should be here, too. My picture's on the wall because I was a contestant on The Price That's Right. The Farmer's Daughter. Here it is, near the 76 station. That's yeah. the one I was thinking it, of. Well, they've okay. painted it over. This is the fourth version. Okay. This is Stevie Wonder's Michael song. You're an angel in disguise. I can't help it if I wanted to. Okay, so what's cool about this MJ mural we just looked up, this is, uh, Brad and I are here, and it's a picture of Michael from the off the wall era. Right. And what's cool about this mural, it's here, the artist that did it, um, this is where the off the wall album cover was. So if you see these uh, pictures of Michael over here, you know, he was in the tuxedo with the fro. This is the, uh, this, this one right here is the one that's on the album cover. But around the back is where he shot the album cover. So in this back alley, I'm gonna come back over here and you see all these people have written Michael messages here, which is cool. But right here in this alley, I don't know which one it is, so I'm not gonna make it up. But one of these doors here, this is where Michael posed with his hands in his pockets, smiling for the off the wall cover. Isn't that crazy? So Maddie, if you don't mind putting a picture of the long gatefold off the wall cover. Is that it? Yeah, I think it's right here. That's okay. what I said in the alley. It's one of these doors. I don't know which one, but look, you can see the bricks. I mean, the bricks have all been painted over, but isn't that too cool? Can you imagine him sitting here <laughs> posing? If you live it off the wall. I'm gonna get a big shot of the mural though. This is cool. Look at this. Can't help it if I wanted to. You're an angel in disguise. Very cool, man. 
The lyrics say, Keep on with the voice, don't stop. Don't stop to get it out. Working day and night, I'm gonna rock with you. It's all the songs from the album. Get on the floor. Oh, and then there's, Oh, and just enjoy yourself. That's off the wall. Girlfriend, she's out of my life. Softly while you sigh. It's the falling in love. And burn the disco out. DJ spin the sound. That is cool. This lady's coming by. Hi. So it's just this random wall. But can you imagine Michael as a kid? So these are cool places for a big MJ nut like me to come. Uh, Maddie, can you show what the mural looked like before? There have been three or four versions. But this is cool that it keeps changing. I think it's pretty awesome. Okay, so if you look at the Michael Jackson album cover, I think this wasn't here. These two things weren't here. But this is new brick, right? But I think this is the blue part. And I think this is where Michael was, like this. I think that's where it was. We'll have to find a real fan to you know, find out. Okay, so Brad, you said straight ahead is Westlake. And I was confused, but this is Westlake C, D, and E. Correct. Where you did bad, right? So Westlake Studio D is where we did the bad album. That studio was actually built for Michael Jackson. For wow. The bad okay, so drove, this is Westlake, the brick so building. So if we drove right into that wall, we'd be in Studio C. Okay. That's where we did uh, the Spanish and the French version. I'm just, I just can't stop loving you. Todo mi amor eres tú. And if we drove straight into that wall over there, it'd be in Westlake Studio D, which is where the bad album was done. Wow. Jump out here. So was Smooth Criminal done in here? Yeah, so Smooth Criminal was done back in Studio D. Where Bruce Rodin was like, I want everybody to clear the area right now. Okay, cool. These buildings are so nondescript. You're just like, eh, what is this? This is Studio D. All of Okay, wow. Okay. So up over here to the right, you'll see that little door. So the big door, not that one, this one. See a little door in the corner? Uh-huh, tiny door. Yeah, so that's where Michael would come in. We could go right into the studio. In that right little there. door. Yeah. So this big door opens up, and that's how we get cartage in and drums and all that. Big speakers. And, and then Michael would park right here, uh, where it says number 14. Wow. And, and it would just say reserve his first space. For Michael. So he could step out of his car and walk right and in. We, no fans. see him on the camera. Sure. Open that door and then uh, bring them right inside. Wow, amazing. So that is Westlake. so cool. So this is Westlake Studio C, D, and E. Wow, very cool, man. Yeah. So did Quincy get the next spot or Bruce? Who got the next spot next to uh, <laughs> Yeah, Quincy would, uh, I think Bruce, because Quincy would always have a driver. Naturally. It's just so funny that these famous recording studios just, are, it's just a brick building, no signs. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is cool. We're on Route 66 from Chicago to okay, so LA. I mean, this is just, it's just such an iconic restaurant. Would you eat Chinese food with Michael Jackson in here? No, but we would get Chinese food from there and bring it into the studio. I love it, Formosa. But the are just covered with, uh, with, you know, Bing Crosby, uh, wow. Bush, or everybody at Formosa, California. That's it's cool. Oh, there's like an old train car out there. I love that. Very cool. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's an iconic place. Okay, here we are. We're coming up on Pink's famous hot dogs. Think Pink. And Michael did a photo shoot here for his Forever Michael album, Gatefold. We'll have to show that in a second. Oh yeah, look at the line. Oh, leg legendary. Yeah, I'll hop in line. <laughs> look at all of these, man. Yes, give it to me. Brad knows, he's like, jump out. This is where the line can go. <laughs> Amazing. Let's put some of these pictures here. Look at Michael. Young Michael. Having a cold glass Coke. Okay, now Brad's gonna hold the spot and I'm gonna go up here. And show you what this used to be like. Been here since 1946. For Michael stood right here. Wow, look at these, man. You get onion rings on it. Founded in 1939 with a push cart. I mean, an LA institution. So cool. 
amazing. A long way from Gary, Indiana, man. And that line, we'll be here for half an hour at least. Love it. Yum. Amazing. I think this is the spot. Michael said he has the hot dog and the kind of white pole. Cook in the mini, right? What do yep. you think? I think that's it. I think it's it. Love it. These are fun. Hey Brad, it's right over here. <laughs> Mike, Michael. I need to send them the whole record so that they can put the whole gate bolt out. That's awesome. Whoopi. That's cool, Mr. Miyagi. Very cool, man. What a hoot. And because Michael had one, I had to get a glass Coke too. Brad, cheers. Cheers. Look at this cute seating out here. Great costumes. Oh, let's see what we have. I've got my glass Coke. It's better than a glass bottle. And we just have a light snack here after <laughs> flying across country. To get us a to burger, the three dogs, some onion rings. Yeah, I got to slide slaws and the land up away always does. It's lovely out here though, in the, in the parking lot. Wow, look at this. Is this sunset? Yes, this is sunset. You can just tell, look at the trees. It's like Sunset Boulevard. Shout out to Maddie. There's the In-N-Out Burger. Okay, so we're coming up on the back of the Jim Henson Studios, which was the A&M lot, right? The old A&M lot. Where, where We Are the World was recorded with Michael and Quincy and Lionel and everybody else. We are the world. In that building, that's amazing. Cindy Lauper and Bob Dylan, of course. We need down and out. <laughs> it seems all hope is gone. Wow, right here. Is this a robot? Yeah, what is this robot delivering? That is crazy. Truth be told, I really haven't been here, but this is the old AM studios where We Are the World was shot, well recorded, with Quincy and Michael, uh, Lionel, on and on and on. Amazing, man. Look at Kermit the Frog. Hi, ho there, Kermit the Frog here. So back then it was the AM Studios, but now it's Henson Studios. Amazing. And before that, it was the Charlie Chaplin film studio. This is the Charlie Chaplin lot. So cool, man. Amazing. There's Charlie Chaplin. That's cool. <laughs> Who was, you know, Michael's favorite. Michael adored Charlie Chaplin, man. Let's put a picture of Michael as Charlie Chaplin right there. There we go. That's cool, man. If you see up here, it says the Jim Henson Company. This is Ocean This Way. is the 6,000 building. Right here, wow. 6,060, uh, 6, I'm just gonna do this. Cool. So Ocean Way has two buildings. What's it? Okay, yeah, this is Universal. Okay, United, I'm sorry, I lied. This is United, but it, it's Ocean Way. So this, and then they have another building down there just a little bit more. But this is where Big Crosby recorded uh, White Christmas. And we did uh, wow. the strings for We Are the World. <laughs> for the strings for Will You Be There. We, do, do, we actually did a bunch of string sessions here. Do, 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 do. And I'm dreaming. I love it. Yeah. Very cool, right here on Sunset. Yeah. Here we are coming up on the classic. Hollywood sign, oh, yeah. We did that hike. Three miles up, three miles back, yeah. I don't think I've ever done it. Maddie edited that episode. Well, that's a rare 76 ball. You don't see a lot of those anymore. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm getting, you give a good tour, Brad. <laughs> that's it. Okay, Brad and I just stopped by uh, Steve Porcaro's house. I can't believe that Brad pulled this off. <laughs> But Brad had something audio concerning to drop off for him. And uh, he could have just emailed it, but you know what? He was like, Steve, we're in the neighborhood. We're in the neighborhood. And we stopped, we were there for an hour. He played me two Michael Jackson songs I've never heard that you've never heard. It would blow your mind, and one day they'll be released. But um, they're his songs that he wrote, so um, amazing. Uh, the nicest guy, coolest stories, and he blasted them. We felt it. It was hurt me. It's not time, right? <laughs> it hurt was me. hurt me. Hurt me. Um, so we are running to the Marriott where we're staying tonight. And um, we're going to put on our crazy MJ suits. 
And then we're going to Havenhurst over in Encina, which is about 15, 20 minutes away from our hotel. So um, we're already jet lagged. It's 6.02 LA time and it's 9.02 Orlando time. Yeah. And Spain time is like three in the morning. Three in the morning. <laughs> Just doesn't matter anymore. Don't stop doing that. Okay, we're in the hotel and we're getting ready. Brad's suit is amazing. Check this out. Look at this. So these are all of Brad's notes and cassettes and masters of things that he worked on with Michael. So cool. Ocean Way recording, Bill Luttrell, Blairby Studio. Very cool. Decade album, State of Shock come together. The Hit Factory, Monkey Business. Look at this. These are all of his cassettes and things. I mean, awesome. So his is the before. His suit is the before. Pre-production. Pre-production. And it's very, his is like flexible. It actually, he's going to be able to move and video things. Okay, now here's my suit. This is um, an express suit that had a hole in the butt. And so um, this sleeve is history and blood on the dance floor. And then we have ghosts and thriller. Blood, you know, it's very spooky up here. And then thriller, bad album. We have off the wall album over here and the whiz. Then uh, Pants, a dangerous album on this side, Jackson 5 on the back leg. And this is the back, it's beautiful. But it is it is hard, it is firm. It is an express suit covered in plastic. So my favorite albums. I hope that Taj loves the back with his dad all over it. Very cool. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> and bratty daddy's busting out the Jordans, man. You're giving me a little 1991 Dangerous album vibes. Where'd you get this from? Some football client? Yeah, I'll tell you some great. Amazing. Rocking, dude. Okay, this is crazy. We we're like half dressed. I'm carrying my plastic Michael Jackson suit down the, <laughs> down the hall. Brad looks like a studio half clown or something. So do you get it? Brad is like the before, the work in progress, and I'm the after, right? I'm the singles after a family. <laughs> okay, let's go to Havenhurst. Okay, we're in Encino here. Brad is driving. I'm seriously wearing shorts because my pants are so stiff. So I'm gonna try and get dressed near Havenhurst <laughs> and not at the valet. Okay, so I just got dressed and I'm glad I did here <laughs> because my, the zipper is gone. I'm glad my underwear is dark, but there is... There is no zipper. There is no zipper. It's right so, next to... Um, I hope, hope right I don't get arrested. next to Tatiana. I hope I don't get arrested. Because <laughs> um, I'm a smooth criminal. <laughs> okay, Brad, we made it. We're here. We did. We did We're here at the gates of Havenhurst. So cool, man. Let's sign it. It's, it's looking good. We got Thriller jackets. I love it. Okay, here's the map of the night. Very cool. Thriller night. Okay, Brad, we are in. It's dark. There are murals of Michael and the family. The D.D. D. Jackson Foundation. Heal Los Angeles. That's what this is benefiting tonight. Look at this. Cool. It says Thriller night. This is so cool. Look at Prince in Paris. I mean, come on. Thriller pictures. I can't miss all this, Brad. This is good no, stuff. Man. Yeah, I love it. song. Cool, dude. Rock me. And look, you're in your white, your white thriller suit. Can you go, uh, can you stand by his knee back there? This will be good. Here's a shot I'll send to you. To Maddie. Ha <laughs> ha, love it. Dig it. There they are, Motown 25. Nice. What do you have here? This looks cool. Some tasty treats. Nothing but the best treats. Oh, best Michael chocolate. would love this. Candy, I love it. Very cool. I dig it. Okay, I'm here at the hedges at um, Havenhurst, and uh, we're about to walk the red carpet, but I split my pants when I put them on because there's so much glue and tape <laughs> right up the zipper, just rip the fabric. So I've got this mat that sort of looks like my it coat, looks just, yeah. and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shove this yeah, down just, my pants. Just do it quickly. And it's gonna block. 
I'm not sure you put it in the right spot. Uh, it is. It's definitely in the right spot. <laughs> okay, now can you even tell? <coughs> you can't even tell. Okay, it's, it's gonna be great. That's okay, Brad had a fan contact him. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there he is. Love it. Okay, I'm here with Brad. Brad is the before and I am the after. Brad worked on the songs in the studio and I bought all the songs on vinyl. So pre-production, so, pre post-production. <laughs> so these are these are from my records and these are from his dad tapes and cassette tapes. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So cool. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> work it, work it. Three, two, three. Okay, Brad's doing a little interview here. Love it. Here's Brad signing a, a really, really Brad album. We got Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. Michael would love that. <laughs> Wait, can I see the sign? What does it say? Have you seen my childhood? Okay, and Pink's Hot Dogs is here. Went to Pink's today, and this is where they're doing it, man. I dig it. I love this facade of thriller. Okay, we got Big Al. One, two, three. Got it. There's the memory room. Okay, Matt is showing the studio. This is where you guys did it, man. Look at Matt. Here's Matt, and there's Matt. Legendary, man. Wow. This is Miko Brando, Matt Forger, and Brad Sundberg. Yes, right there, amazing. Reunion, I love it. Guys, I'm here with the man, the legend, Miko Brando. You may recognize him from Moonwalker, but I recognize him as Michael's friend and confidant and bodyguard. You, you've been here many times, right? Yes, I have. And tonight, you're going as Mario. I love it. I love it. So good to meet you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bless. Cool. Look at Ola Ray over here jamming. Ola Ray, look out. <laughs> Here's Michael's studio. Okay, this is the studio. Michael recording Bad and Thriller and Off the Wall. So cool. Look at these guys, old friends, just chatting it up. Love it. Here's Michael and Bubble, so cool. They got Tito's vodka, I love it. <laughs> Wait, this, look at this costume right here. You look awesome, groovy. <laughs> wow, this is the Jackson swimming pool. That's cool. Wow. This is epic. What an amazing estate. Wow. <laughs> Check this out. What? <laughs> There's a great picture of Janet and LaToya sitting right here. Maddie, can we put that picture there? 
Janet and Latoya. I love it. And there's a beautiful picture of Michael in this little storybook window. Can we put that picture right here? Amazing. Okay, let's stroll in the house. Look at this. Ooh, wow, we got zombies. And food. Wow. Mad Forger. Zombies and costumes. Look at this. Spooky. Okay, Brad, you gonna get some off the buffet? Maybe some bloody fingers? Little bloody fingers? Ooh, zombie Michael wants some salad. Look at the sunken living room. Wow, American Werewolf in London. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Wow. So cool. Hi, how are you? Look at this. Whoa. Holy cow. This is for real. Wow. <laughs> Serious, man. Wow. Too cool. Oh, look out. We got a zombie. Gonna eat me alive. Eat my brains. Eat my brains. Look out. I love this. These are costumes from Earth Song. I like that. I like that Hey, thanks, my man. Appreciate that. Hugo Boss Thriller album cover. Wow. That is the suit from Thriller. That's amazing. What? You did it, bud. Thank you. So cool. I appreciate it. Thanks, man. Love it. Look at this stuff. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't get this. This is the best part in the world. Wow. Okay. This is the ghost shirt and mask. Wow. So cool, man. Hands as the mayor. Wow. MPV Award. Michael's glove. American Music Awards. Adora, man. Look at this thriller jacket. Wow. Wow. Look at the awards, man. Wow, the Moon Men. Grammys. Cool. This room is amazing. Guys, I'm here with Taj Jackson. The reason we're here, thank you for inviting us. Of course. This of is course. so joyful and beautiful. Yeah, no, thank you for being here. Amazing. We love the Jacksons. I'm here with TJ Jackson. Sunberg in the studio with MJ. I am here with 
Prince. Prince Jackson, one of the sweetest guys on the planet. And you don't know this, but I met you when you were in your school. Wow, wow. Happy to have you guys. This evening is amazing. Thank you for having the fans like me and Michael's co-workers come and celebrate. It's a pleasure. It's amazing it's a pleasure. You're a cool guy. Okay, Brad just said that the demo for this song was recorded right there <laughs> in that studio. Wow. zombies in there. Lots of zombies. Lots of zombies. Lots of Spaniards. Their favorite friends from Spain. One little Spaniard that kept screaming like a little girl. That was amazing. Wow, they really did that up. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He's coming. Oh, uh, we're in trouble. Oh, he's coming. Whoa. 
It's a Billy Jean walkway. <laughs> Look out, that is cool. It's Prince. DJ. No, no. And we just want to welcome you with our open arms and our open hearts. And we hope you guys are having a fantastic time tonight. Yeah. So, I don't know how many of you were able to see the studio. Yeah. The history of that studio. I mean, so many hits, whether they were written or recorded there. I mean, you have to check it out because we're blessed to be here. Really, we are. And although so many great songs and albums were either written, demoed, or recorded on the premises, primarily in the studio, um, what I love about being here is it reminds me of what my family was about, yep. and that was about uh, making the world a better place. Um, as I get older, I, I really get amazed at how my uncle, my aunt, my uncles and aunts, how they really leaned into making sure the message in their music was about love and making the world a better place. A lot of our pop artists today, and even back then, weren't doing that. But um, I'm very respectful that my family was doing that while still topping charts. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh -oh. Man, amazing. I'm gonna follow you out, Brad. Amazing. So cool, man. Goodie bags and everything. Fancy. Okay, Brad, so what do we think about tonight? That was nuts. Absolutely nuts. I have found that Michael Jackson fans are joyous. They're happy people. They're awesome people. It really was. I can take my glasses off. Um, they're awesome people. Everybody was so fun. So many people that worked with Michael, like Big Al right here. Yep. Um, it's amazing. It was an amazing <laughs> night. Uh, I highly recommend this. Yep. Come next year. Yeah.